Hey guys, it's Mariah and Sue from the Roadmarks. 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 The Roadmarks. Roadmarks. The Roadmarks. The Roadmarks. The Roadmarks. The Roadmarks. The Roadmarks. The Roadmarks. Roadmarks. Who's next? Who's next? Another shout out to the Roadmarks. Yeah! I think you guys already know who we are. I figured it out already. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. If not, then yeah. what? March breakout just ended. Oh my god, the first wow. show of the year. Wow. Awesome what show. an awesome show. Yep. Let's lay it down on you what the matches were. Um, first, we had Shano. Shano opened the show. We, every, he got the crowd pumped up for the show. Right. Very exciting. He was doing some color commentary. There, yes, he was. Then we had the new. Um, video for ICW, the in like the intro video uh, okay. okay. That was good with Five Finger Death Punch. Very nice, Dave. Like it. Like it a lot. Good job, producer um, Dave. The first match was Oh my Alex god. Oh my god. I wanted this guy booked. Alexander Saint versus Lincolnstein. My first, this is my first time seeing um, Lincolnstein versus oh. Alexander Saint. In IHW. In ICW. Actually, yes. That's the only promotion I haven't seen. That's true. <laughs> All in all, Saint came out the winner, so that's good. And hope we, hopefully we see him back in ISW. Absolutely. Keep, book this guy again, please. Keep booking Alexander Saint. Yes. Or we'll bo boycott y'all. Book Sexton Phoenix. What yes. What's wrong with you people? Book Sexton Phoenix. All right, I'm done. So Tyler's yes. own promo. Tyler's own promo. Um, it was Ryan Storm was in the ring. Mr. Chris Cook was in the ring, and you got um, Riddick yeah. Stone in and the ring Kevin and Tyler. Kevin Tyler. So it was more just more of a pep talk from Kevin Tyler, kind of giving uh, a pep talk to each of the guys. Um, because you could see, like, I don't know if you were looking at ascension this. Ascension in the ranks. Yes. You, could you, did you see what Chris was doing? He was like, he looked like he was gonna, he was angry, and he was just really upset with well, Kevin I'd Tyler. I'd be angry too, Kevin oh, Tyler. Well, yeah, exactly. Earlier. So you could, you could see, like, kind I could. Ascension yes. in the ranks. So he's giving them all a pep talk. Right, and then you could see that he was obviously going to turn face. First we had Riddick Stone versus GPS, Girl Papa Slash. It was, it was a really a good, good match. match. Yeah, they was really back and forth because, you know, you have two guys, um, two really big guys. First time I've ever seen Riddick Stone versus GPS, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. It was really good. Um, Riddick came out the winner? Yes, Riddick came out the winner. Could lead you notice to that GPS is, like, probably the biggest star that ICW has right now because, look, did you hear how many cheers yep. he got? He you know what I predict pop. by the end of the year? GPS will have some sort of title reign by the end of 2012. Oh, definitely so either, either he'll be going for the I title or he'll be heavyweight champion. Right, exactly. Yeah, so it's going to be great either way. Either way, the cookie crumbles, whatever. Swa promo. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. A swa promo. The vegan. Oh, my goodness. It was good. Really good. Yeah. Uh, he talked about the how Mr. Swa, Suave Joshua, Joshua Arrow, Arrow is, is dead. dead. Yeah, and he was like, I want to wrestle under my real name, which is Eric Doucette. And he said, I'm back, you know, and yep. I was really surprised. Not, well, yeah, I was really surprised about that. And, like, he's in really good shape. Yeah. Really good shape. He's doing, taking care of himself. And yep. uh, he just kind of walked away from that. And, yeah. Yeah, it was really good. Um, and then Julian really came out, and he he cut a promo on yeah, Swall. Yeah, so, well, was talking about Julian. And yeah. he's, he, that's how it all led up to that point, where yeah. Julian was talking about the whole nine years and everything. And, yeah. you know, um, it so was Julian great. Julian came oh. out, and he cut a promo on Swall. New singlet, too. Uh, yeah, new singlet. What with, with one knee pad? I see his underwear. We have Julian versus Titus. Mariah oh, marked out. Oh, my God. It was funny because out. he was like, who's my next opponent? And I'm like... Titus. Where I predict this. I predicted yep. Titus versus Julian, and my God. It was a great that match. That was probably my favorite match out of the whole show. Because, yeah. you know, like, you know, I've loved seeing them fight 
like one another. Other. I've seen them like wrestle like what at least five six times, but well, yeah, because I mean, but every time they wrestle each other, they have wicked good matches. It's so good. I think mm -hmm. uh, Titus came out the winner in that one. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure because there was he did a new finisher. Like he, no, not a new finisher, but he did a new move when he uh, picked it up in the air and like kind of flipped them and landed. Yeah, on the I thought it was really yeah, good like, match. A lot wow. of really great moves during that match. Um, then when out, Julian was laid out. Eric actually came out, Eric Dusat came out, and he drew some yes. funny faces. And, and a, a penis on a test. And that's not PG. Um, it, I mean, then Julian was unaware of what had happened and right. kind of all out of it. Then we had the jam session with the rock star Chris Cole, Daddy-O. And just kidding, I was there also. Oh, God. Um, with, a fight, with a tie. They both had ties, but like Chris's tie looked really cool. And he had a shirt on. Who had a shirt on? Chris Cole. Like, yeah. What else would he have on? I don't know. No, no shirt and have a tie like Canadian Idol. But anyway, the guest on the jam session was none other than Brody Steele. So Brody Steele is a that man of a uh, few words. Kim and Chris Cole are not friends. He's not Definitely there to play friend, video no. games with them. Ooh. And he's only there for one reason, for Cowboy Mike Hughes. Ooh. So that kind of leads up to it. Um, then we have Brian Storm and BT Bobby Man for the iTitle. This uh, well, is like a continuation of a continuation of I'll, an ongoing. Yes, like in but, the last three but, shows. But it's know. leading up good because mm. Storm won the title back. That was yeah, kind of the main point I really like of that. the feud. I liked how they did that because, you know, BT was so, like, over. Over. Then, like, you, you know, you kind of have to drop somebody. Like, somebody who's so over, you have to give another chance to somebody else. Like, yeah. Ryan Storm is a great wrestler. I have to admit yeah. it. Like, I don't care what he, whatever he does in the ring. He like, was outside. angry tonight. He was. Angry at you. He, he, he was mean. He's really mean. He really dislikes you. I know. Even yeah. though I put him, he th he doesn't think that I'm, he's in my top ten, even, even though he is. <laughs> what number was he? He's number nine? He's number nine. You're number nine. Be nice. I don't think he watches our videos. No, I don't think so. Anyways. I think he just hears about them and yells at us. About them. Main event. Cowboy Mike Hughes versus the big pitcher Chris Cook. So Kevin keeps trying Trying to wow. interfere, yeah. Trying to oh, help Chris, help his, help him. He's not working because um, every time he does, he, he goes up for the pin. You know, yeah. Distract Chris him. gets mad because Kevin's trying to help. He doesn't want his help. So anyway, no. so the Brody Steel comes out. Oh. Kevin gets up on the ring apron yep. with some powder, and yep. then Brody Steel knocks it in his eye. Like eyes. something Mr. Fuji, like yeah. You know? And then Fuji. Cowboy pins uh, Chris Cook to win the match, and then at the end, uh, all kinds of things happened yep. here. Yep. Chris Cook got angry with Kevin because he kept trying to interfere yes. in the match, and Kevin turned. Chris turned on Kevin. Yes. Were, like, oh my God! Out. I stood up and I was like, "Yes, my prediction came true." Wow. I did. Well, maybe it start. It's not. He's not totally faced right now, but he's building himself up to that point. Yeah. Where he's he's not like, it. "Hey, I like, want to hug everybody." Which but, was good. Like, yeah. as, like at the end of the match, you got you got that video right of the whole I whatever did. thing yeah. happened. He he could have walked out. He could have walked out, but he stayed in the ring but he didn't with really all the faces. Yeah. But he didn't really talk to with the guys or anything. Like he just stayed there. Yeah. Which is like, it Lady makes up. you think. Like what's gonna Lady happen up. next month? You know, maybe yep. it's gonna build. Like keep on building up. Because the crowd already has, like, has his back. Right, the crowd's always, like, the crowd's really behind Chris Oh, yes. Oh, and yes. then Brody Steele, and I didn't expect this. I expect, you know, the Cardinal yes, Sinners from, I it too. from the PEI version. But no, this was completely different. This was Brody Steele turning on Cowboy Mike Hughes. Wow, good, because in PEI we see Cardinal Sinners, and I wanted to see them versus each other.